Oh, for the longest time, we were begging for the rain, and at this point, we are so happy to see a dry radar scope storm shield radar this morning. Quiet across eastern Oklahoma, only a very low chance for a thunderstorm across the south and east today, but give us a chance to dry out. Maybe you can mow if you can get the mower through all the mud. You might have to hire a goat. It's 80. The heat index, it's 84 because this dew point temperature is 73. That's some pretty muggy air. Got to keep in mind, we got all that water on the ground. The rivers are high. It's going to take a while to evaporate this. Hey, that grass, though, it's going to be green going well into July this year instead of, you know, going brown before we even get through May. The heat, it's going to build. That's what we're really tracking for the forecast the next few days. That humidity is going to be high as well. So the heat index numbers aren't just high today. They're high going into the upcoming week. And the storm chances, they're what I'd call between no to low. Uh, not exactly zero, but certainly not as high as what we've been seeing around there. So there's the 80. That's the current temperature from Tulsa. Stigler's at 79. Poto's at 77. There's Okima at 78 degrees. Uh, temperatures out across western Kansas this afternoon are going to be in the 100s. Our heat index numbers are going to attempt that. Look at there. By lunchtime, the heat index numbers are already in the upper 90s. And then by this afternoon, this is 3 p.m. with a heat index of 101 from Bartlesville, 100 from Pryor, Vanita, Grove. Tulsa's heat index at that point is around 99 to 100 degrees. So even though the air temperatures are safely in the low 90s, that humidity is so high, it is just going to feel sweaty out there. Notice those heat index numbers are still into the 80s going through the evening hours. All is quiet. A few clouds floating in from Texas, though nothing to worry about this morning. The main rains with Bill are well to the east. That's going to bring a wet day to the Ohio Valley. You can still see that circulation tracking along the Ohio River. The severe weather threat has pushed into the northern plains. Look at this complex racing across Minnesota, and that is a sign of summertime. Notice how quiet it is out to the west. That is the building heat dome. Call it a ridge of high pressure. This is a taste of summertime, and here it is by 7 o'clock tonight. Watch what happens as we go through the weekend and how it builds in across green country. And what that does is it doesn't eliminate, but for the most part, shuts down the rain chances and builds those temperatures up. And look around. It's around through the middle part of next week, so this thing's going to be around for a few days. And then all of a sudden, the pattern starts to shift again. And notice how the heat goes back to the west. And all of a sudden, we're allowed to pull in some cooler air. And toward next weekend, that allows a front to get into the area. And so by this point next week, the storm chances are starting to creep back up and the temperatures are going back down. But don't get me wrong, there's going to be a stretch of some pretty sweaty weather in there between now and then. So here's future track for today. Again, we'll call it mostly sunny humid. Now notice by three, a couple of thunderstorms in southeastern Oklahoma. Not a lot, maybe one or two at best, but there may be a couple down there if you're headed to the southeast and then into western Arkansas as well. Then by later this evening, all goes quiet. Now overnight tonight, it's mild, it's warm. Temperatures are in the mid 70s. Then tomorrow, once again, for Father's Day, first day of summer, all on the same day this year, there could be a couple of thunderstorms across the southeast, but it should be the exception rather than the rule. I wouldn't cancel any plans based on what you see on this map. So for this afternoon, there's that chance for a storm uh, toward McAllister and Poto. McAllister, you're high 89, and you're the only one that we put into the 80s today. Everybody else in the low to mid 90s, at least a south to southwest breeze at 10 to 20 helps stir that air up because that heat index will be awful nasty this afternoon. And then tonight, it's going to be, we'll call it warm. We should be in the upper 60s. We're talking mid 70s, 75 here in the metro tonight. 76 from Poto, Prior, Tahlequah, Bartlesville, Stillwater, Okmulgee, all at 74 degrees. Sunrise tomorrow morning at 6.06. .06. Tomorrow, of course, the first day of summer. So we're talking about the most amount of daylight that we will see for the entire year. There's 93 today, 94 tomorrow, 94 for Monday. We get into Tuesday, Wednesday. We're still into the mid 90s. And then by the end of the week, those temperatures are starting to go back down closer to 90 degrees. We see a few more clouds getting in here. And by the end of the week, here comes the front by Friday into Saturday. It's not a very strong one. May not even make it past us, but at least it's in the neighborhood and it gives us a chance to see a few thunderstorms. Summer starts late tomorrow morning just after 1130 a.m.